Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Schneider. Um, today we're going to be doing Envisions 13-2. And we're going to be learning about customer units of capacity. Now I'm going to get out of the way. All right, so our objective today, you will be able to find equivalent customary units of capacity by the end of today's lesson. So let's read our solve and share. Casey has two gallons of juice. How many one pint containers can she fill? Now, I don't know about you, but I can't remember like how many gallons, like how many pints are in a gallon or um, when they talk about quarts and cups, it always kind of jumbles in my mind and it's hard to remember all of that. So um, I'm gonna show you a, a really great way to remember the units of capacity. Now, customary, remember, is a big fancy word for what we use in our country. It's like the regular units of measuring capacity. Capacity is a fancy way of saying how much liquid a container can hold. So if you have a big container and you say, oh, what's the capacity of that? You would mean like, well, how many cups or how many gallons or how many quarts could you fill? Could you fill up in that? All right, so that's capacity. We are going to be talking about the kingdom of girls, which is a great way for you to remember all the different units of capacity. Now, years ago at Abbey Lane, there was a teacher called Mrs. Moran, and maybe one day she'll even see this YouTube video, and she's a math teacher, and at the time, her son was in third grade, and his third grade teacher taught, her, taught him this kingdom of girls, and she taught it to me, and then we all just loved it. All right, so we're gonna write the kingdom of girls. Okay. And let me put a little orange around this so it kind of stands out a little bit. When I left school, I grabbed a bunch of um, markers, the dry erase markers, but really these two are the best ones. I, I should have tested them before I left, but I didn't. Okay, the kingdom of girls. So we're gonna start with a G for girls, right? So in the kingdom of girls, there are four queens. And each queen has two princesses. I'm trying to make my P's big, you'll see why in a sec. And each princess has two children. So we're going to put two C's inside of each P. Now what I would like you to do is when I'm done with this, when you're done watching this video, I'd like you to replay this and I want you to make this on a piece of paper. I want you to draw the kingdom of girls on a piece of paper. Trust me when I tell you, you're gonna be happy you did when you do the, your, your, guided, your independent practice on this. All right, so let's talk about this. So in the kingdom of girls, there are four queens. Each queen has two princesses and each princess has two children. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, what does that have to do with capacity? Well, here it is. I'm gonna show you what this has to do with capacity. All right, the G stands for gallon, which most of you probably have a gallon of milk in your refrigerator now. It's like the big jug, gallon. Uh, the Q stands for quart. Now, if we were in school, I'd have all my little jugs to show you. Uh, the P stands for pint. And the C stands for, can you guess? What do you think the C stands for? Something that you use probably in baking all the time or even cooking. C stands for cup. So if you said cup, good job. Now, let's relate it. So in one gallon, right, there's one G. How many quarts are in the gallon? 
Well, let's count up our cues. One, two, three, four. Four quarts are in a gallon. How many pints are in our gallon? We have two, four, six, eight. Eight pints are in our gallon. But there's also just two pints in a quart. And now how many cups are in my gallon? I have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16 cups in my gallon. Or there's two cups in a pint, four cups in a quart. Now I love the Kingdom of Girls for this reason. It's very visual and you know I love visual things. It helps me when I can see a picture of something. It helps to explain it better to me. Um, and it's a great way of making sense of the different sizes. Now this might seem silly to you, but this, like, without this visual, it's hard for me to keep track of like quart and pint. I know cup and I know gallon, because cup I use in baking and gallon I use, I have a gallon of milk in my refrigerator. It's the quarts and pints that I don't use so much. So whenever I go to order Chinese food and I think, oh my goodness, do I want a pint or do I want a quart? What do I want? So I always think of this, the Count Kingdom of Girls. I think, well, the pint is smaller. So if I want it smaller, like princess compared to queen court, and that's bigger. All right, back to our solvent share. So Casey has two gallons of juice. How many one pint containers can she fill? Well, let's see. In one gallon, how many pints are there? Let's see, in one gallon, how many pints? We have two, four, six, eight. Eight, let me erase this here. Eight pints. So if we wanna figure out how much is in two gallons. So I can, if in one gallon it's eight pints, what's in two gallons? So I doubled my two, right? My one to make it two. I can double my eight to make it 16. Also, another way to solve this would be eight, there's eight in one gallon, so how many in two? Eight times two equals 16 pints. We'd be multiplying. So today is our introductory lesson for 13-2. As we talked about, we're going to be doing the lessons in two days. So today we had our Sullivan share, I taught you the kingdom of girls, um, we went over our objective, and tomorrow we'll do more independent, um, a more guided practice for some examples. So after watching this video, I'd like you to grab a piece of paper and draw the kingdom of girls because when you draw something, it kind of sticks in your memory a little bit better. And then uh, you're going to do some practice on IXL using in in capacity. We're also gonna go back and review some length that we did um, yesterday and the day before. Not yet. Yeah, last Friday and last Thursday, we did miles, feet, inches. We're gonna do that as well today. Alrighty, we're gonna review that. So I will see you tomorrow, bye.